Hi everyone, my name is Bart Hopkin. I'm a maker of musical instruments and I've made a lot of musical instruments. So to start this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit in some footage of the camera panning around my studio so you can see some of the instrument. They're going to go by much too fast to name them all here. But for instance, the bent bars we're seeing now are called smoked paprika. Now this one with the aluminum rods, uh, that one is Dancel 3. And you can see there, uh, we can see the high suction pops. The perforated disc is a musical siren. Here's a bunch of zithers, lutes, and guitar-like things. There's another one called Tall Sad Aggie. And now uh, coming up, calibrated dual slide whistles, and so forth. Many, many diverse instruments to be seen here. Now, for the 2021 Music Maker Festival, I'm presenting an instrument called U. It's called U, spelled U. U consists of a heavy steel bar bent into a U shape with a whole lot of tines on it. The tines are stainless steel screws, uh, sort of long, thin stainless steel screws, which can be tuned by adjusting the hex nuts at the base of the tines. Each tine, or not each tine, but many of the tines also have some additional hex nuts closer to the end. Those are there to adjust one of the overtones, to put it in a better pitch relationship to the fundamental, just to give the thing a clearer tone. Now, the tines are arranged on the bent bar in groups of 14. You can see uh, there's, uh, in the upper left, there's a group of 14 tines, and then below that, 14 more, and below that, 14 more, and then 14 more on the upper right opposite side. Uh, and each of those groups of 14 represents one note. For instance, the first group, that one on the upper left, is D. The actual tunings of the tines are, there's a couple tines tuned to a very low D, or not very low, but a, you know, a low D, um, and then a couple more tuned to a higher D, an octave above, then two octaves above, three octaves above. It actually covers four octaves. It covers quite a broad range. There's also a couple of A's in there, fifths above the, the uh, defining pitch there, um, just to give it a little more color. And then the group of 14 below that is D sharp, and below that is E natural, and so forth, going through the remaining notes. The way you play it is by stroking these groups with a stick. The kind of stick that I happened to find happened to work best was uh, a shish kebab skewer. And the playing technique is a lot about how you, uh, you know, your stroking technique. Do you stroke fast or slow? Do you emphasize the lower tines or the higher tines within each note group? Do you stroke up or down? All these kinds of things. It's an unusual sort of ergonomic playing method, but uh, it also creates a distinctive kind of music. That's the whole idea. Now, uh, U by itself isn't very loud. That, all that metal bar, it doesn't have very much surface area to project much sound out into the air. In what you just saw, you saw U standing on a stand and it was set up with a pickup, which means you can play it louder. You can also play it acoustically without the pickup by laying it down across a styrofoam ice chest. The ice chest does an excellent job of taking the high impedance vibration from this big chunk of metal and taking it in and then spreading it out across a much broader surface area. And in that way, it projects into the air much better. It's a much more effective radiator like a soundboard. So I'm going to play it acoustically in just a moment. I actually prefer the way it works acoustically. So you're going to see me giving a little demonstration on you played uh, in the acoustic manner. For this demonstration, I'm going to play uh, the piece by the early 20th century Austrian composer Arnold Schoenberg called uh, Verklärte Nacht. Just kidding! I'm not going to play Verklärte Nacht. I'm going to play a little improvisation on you. Here goes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.